Well, yes, indeedy, I am back in the game, y'all. Um, <laughs> so I did a lot of stuff today, okay? I prepared my review, I did my review video, I posted it to be released later on, and I just almost belched on camera, that was weird, um, and I read um, some of my Harley Quinn uh, and the Birds of Prey Hunt for Harley book. Um, I had breakfast. I had all these things. I went grocery shopping. I don't like grocery shopping. But because I had to get stuff from more than one place, I could not justify doing delivery. Um, I got that all done. Came home. It is now 6.59 p.m. on February 19th, 2024, and I am ending the day of writing with 1,466 words. Yay! Pause for excitement. Woohoo! Hey, hey! Um, so, my typical goal um, that I do, um, let me go ahead, 1,466 words. I'm updating my log. What I do typically is I try to write during the five days of writing per week and 1,250 at least each day. Um, so 1,466 getting back on track and it's all for the novel. So, um, might take some time later on. I'm definitely going to take some time later on to do more reading, but I think we're at the point now where I'm going to go ahead and stop writing for the evening and try to figure out what I'm doing for my dinner because I had kind of a late lunch and I've been kind of snacking on these um, almonds that I got earlier today when I was shopping. Blue Diamond not a sponsor almonds <laughs> they're flavored ones and they're flavored like mexican street corn elote elote flavor it's very understated and 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 not overpowering i have later on because i did do my writing um and i reached my writing goal for the day i have i'm going to eat part of this i got this yesterday when i went to barnes and noble oh my god guys i went to barnes and noble i finally found one around here um and i went to barnes and noble for the first time in like almost a year like for real and these i bought a book um and i bought this these are at the register and i was like you know what i need a little something you know to use as you know a, a little prize for doing my um, my words for the day so a serving of that there's two servings per bar it is Hammond's raspberry habanero it's dark chocolate with raspberry and chili flakes I love dark chocolate, I love raspberry, and I love spicy stuff. So, I'm going to eat half of that today as my prize for reaching my goal for the day. And then I'll have the rest of it for tomorrow. So, fantastic. Um, but that's it for today. Um, We'll be back tomorrow with more. So I didn't, I haven't been doing many vlogs, um, vlog entries, so to speak. Um, just cause I just, I'm getting done writing and then I'm like off to something else usually. Um, I'm trying really hard to make sure that I'm at least getting the amount um, 
that I'm supposed to be getting every every week. I'm doing okay so far. Um, like just kind of a, a quick rundown before I start writing. It is eight twenty one. I'm gonna go up to almost nine o'clock because I need to run down and start the coffee before I start my work day. Um, but we have oh my gosh, coffee guys. I found a, I forget the freaking brand, but it's um. Around this time of year, Starbucks has the pistachio latte the last few years. Um, and I really love the pistachio latte. Well, another brand made a uh, creamer. I think it's International Creamers. I think that's what it is. But it's pistachio latte creamer flavor. I got it. It's really good. So, that you know, I got it. It tastes really good in Javelia, uh, Javelia espresso roast. Okay. Um, just putting that out there, putting that out there. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, um, on the 19th, that's Monday, I did 1,466 words. That is a little bit over, um, my daily goal, um, five days a week of 1,250. And again, yesterday I went over the goal a little bit. Um, not a lot, but a little bit, um, almost a hundred words over the goal actually of, um, 1,338. So almost a hundred over the goal, but not quite about uh, 12 off, 12 words off from being a hundred over the goal. But it's just, by the time I was done, I was like, okay. So like I, I stayed up Monday night <clears throat> after I got done with my writing. And I watched a bunch of episodes of Bridgerton, which I had not watched <clears throat> and everybody talked about before now. And so I had watched like one or two episodes previously. So then I watched three, four, five, and six all on Monday night. And I did not go to bed until very late. So I was very tired last night um and I ended up still wanting to read um because I found a new book and I want to make sure I get to read it ASAP so I gotta finish the other book that I'm reading right now I'm reading um Adelaide um it's a novel and I'm reading the Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey Hunt for Harley Quinn um I'm reading both of those right now. So I need to finish at least one of them before I can move on to the other one. It's going to be, you would think it'd be much quicker to finish the, the comic book one, the, the graphic novel. Um, but no, it, it's, I, I am, I can read the book anywhere. There's a certain level of lighting that you need for, um, a comic book because you want to take in the art as well and you want to take in the art properly whereas I can read in lower light a regular novel and not have a problem but um I have now maybe maybe later I will talk more about the reads that I have and what I have on uh on deck because it's one I've been looking for for quite some time and I went to Barnes and Noble and I can't remember when I mentioned Barnes and Noble the other day if um if if I uh if I mentioned the book that I got or if I just mentioned the candy bar that I got so I think you guys are still unaware of the book that I found, but it's a book that I've been looking for for a while. And I wanted to get it in a bookstore. So like, I know Barnes and Noble is a big, um, company. Um, however, we had like this time period, like a while back where Barnes and Nobles were starting to close 
And so, like, we all know what happened to borders. All the borders closed, right? And then Barnes and Noble looked like they were they were in a uh, in uh, serious trouble, and because everybody was buying their books just off of Amazon, and I do that, you know, I've self published my books on Amazon, so I want people to at least sometimes buy books on Amazon, but I also want to buy books in store, um, because I like the experience of going to a bookstore. So that's why I was holding off on buying it online. So, but I hunted this thing down in a bookstore and I got it now and I, I'll probably talk about it later. I'll talk about it later. That's something to look forward to. Shit y'all. <laughs> it is, um, I went on kind of a writing rampage here. Okay. Um, so earlier today I did like 494 words this morning. Okay. Um, not a bad showing for that first, uh, hour before work. Um, it was even like less than an hour actually. And I, yeah, so I got that much out and I ended up coming home after picking up my comics and dinner and all that. Um, and I ended the day, this is this morning and today, this morning and tonight combined with 2,424 words. Nice. Cause it's, it's especially good considering if I end up going to the open mic tomorrow, I'm not going to get as much writing time. As I would normally get. So. Wow. This is pretty cool. This is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to enjoy my candy bar. I'm going to enjoy the, the, the candy bar I bought. Um, Twix cookie dough. Um. And I'm going to enjoy this new Coca-Cola. This is Coca-Cola Coca Spiced. Zero sugar. Um, basically what's going on here is it's got a raspberry flavor, right? Along with like spices. Like um, if you've ever mulled wine or had mulled uh, wine, it's kind of the spices that would happen that people would use. To mull wine, like, let me just look at the fucking, you know, ingredients. What do they say? It says natural flavors. Well, okay. <laughs> Caramel, color, natural flavors, and, you know, all the stuff, other stuff that makes soda a soda. Um, Zero calorie soda, raspberry spiced, and other natural flavors. Okay, so it's like raspberry and indiscriminate spices. <laughs> but I think it tastes like um, raspberry plus the kind of spices you would use to mull wine. Um, like clove cloves there's cloves mm -hmm. it's like have you ever been around somebody one it tastes like raspberry plus the spices that you would use to mull wine plus also like another way to talk about it is to like be like okay so like if you've ever been so around someone or smoked um, a clove cigarette. Back in the day when I was in college, there was these these ones. I was I think they called them Diablo was the name of it. I think that was the name. 
of the cigarette and it was it was like it was clove it was clove cigarette right and it had instead of like the regular like white paper and filter of like a normal cigarette it had like it was black black and gray yeah like let me let me know if you ever smoke those um and if i'm getting the name right because i can't remember Yeah. But it tastes like raspberry and mold wine spice is spi I and uh, honestly like I'm talking about it like I don't like it but I kind of do. I kind of like this. <laughs> um Joe tried to sip of it. My boyfriend tried to sip of it earlier and he was like I tried the first sip because it was mine. Cuz I got him um, he likes these, um, NOS energy drinks. He likes that one. And I got him one of those and I had to stop by the gas station on our way home because I wanted a candy bar as like my special treat for getting my words in. And, um, I was like, we, had, we had seen the commercial for it and we were sitting there complaining because the commercial doesn't specify what kind of spice. And it's like, I'm going to find out. So I took a sip, right? The first one. And he wanted to try it. So I take a sip. And I'm like, I like this, but you're going to hate it. And yeah, he, he made a face. He made, he made the... Joe thinks this is icky face, which, um, I can't even do it justice. Like I'm trying to like, like, so kind of like that. That's, that's kind of, I can't, I, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta practice my impersonation. Of my boyfriend's um that tastes icky face yeah but he definitely i he definitely did not like it i was correct um so it's all me i get to not that i was going to to share any more of it but it's all me all me but yeah so try coca-cola spiced if you like those things, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I have been really bad about filming this week. I really have. But you wonder what I haven't been bad about? I haven't been bad about writing this week, which is why we're all here, right? Um, the creation. Something was on my keyboard. The creation of the writing. That's why we're here. Um, yeah. I'm also here because of the video thing. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber, you know. Um, but, but, um, I have, I've done the work this week, y'all. Okay? Um, so I'm going to be real with you. I didn't do much writing yesterday. Okay. So I know I said I, I, I got the writing in, but I didn't do much yesterday. Um, yesterday, I did not do a lot of writing, but that's because I, I legit did a lot of writing on two other days this week. Um, so... When it comes right down to it, wow, I ended the week with, uh, let me put that in, so 700, or excuse me, 7,824 words. Um, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> so my goal is, typically to 
get around 6,250 words um, per week. And this is something, a goal that I'm having um, for the next, from that start for like seven weeks, right? So we've done one, two, three weeks. First week went over um, 6,477 words. Second week, I kind of didn't reach that goal and that's okay. We're not going to mull over that right now. We're not going to mull over the details. If you've watched the video, you've watched the video, you know, I was having a rough week. Um, but that was 4,893 words. And now this week I did 7,824 words. That's pretty good. So if we want to do the math, I'll, I'll pull up a calculator here while I'm like talking to y'all. If we want to do the math, really, okay? So like if the goal for each week was 62.50, right? We've done three weeks so far, so times three. So the goal was to do a total of 18,000 um, 750 words over the last three weeks. Now, like I said, we were down 1,357 from the second week of the last three weeks. Okay. Um, but let's see exactly how off we were if we were from that. So let's see here. That first week is 6,700 or 477 words. Okay, um, so then we have four, eight, nine, three, so 4,893 words, right? Minus seven, eight, two, four. If you've been doing the math with me, let's, let's, let's equal signs that one. I am... Yeah, I am over the count by 444 words, 444. Hey, let's not rest on our laurels here. Let's make sure that we stay as strong as possible throughout the next four weeks. Okay. And we're going to have this rough draft written if we're able to keep it together for the next four weeks. Since I haven't really done a lot of recording this week involving the process and you know, you guys haven't really seen me very much on here. Let me, let me see if there's anything that I can read to you. Um, little sample of something I wrote over the last week. I'm trying here. Let me see here. Um, just like, uh, something I wrote yesterday. So, um, the total of what I wrote yesterday was 357 words. Yep. So like way off from the, the 1250 that I would normally be required to do to be on track. Okay. But still, because I had literally done one day, the day before I did 2,242 words. And, and then the day before that I did 2,421 words. It's okay. All right. Um, do I want to read this part? Let's see here. No, not necessarily that part. I'm looking for a good, a good moment, a good moment to read to you all. <sighs> okay. So my protagonist, one of my main protagonists, Catherine, 
name is Catherine. Okay. Um, this is a story that's told over different um, years, over years of her life. Okay, so... Can, um, and there are circumstances and little moments in this story that are inspired by things that happened to me. Um, but some of the stuff is not. <laughs> um, or there's, there's some things that are, um, there, there are little elements of, of me put into every character, actually. Um, it's not just Catherine. There are little elements of me put into every character, but, um, do I want to read this or not? You know what? I'm going to read something that is not necessarily, um, inspired by anything that actually happened. Um, like there's like little moments that, um, I'm going to read something that's not actually inspired, inspired by something, um, that happened to me. Um, and then I'm going to read something that, that has a little, a little bit of, of something that I actually did, um, that I kind of shoehorned in there, but didn't actually do it word for word. It's like, I did something when I was younger and I took that concept and I restructured it and made it different and then put it in the story. Okay. So that's how that goes throughout most of this story. Okay. Um, for throughout most of this, uh, um, this book that I've written so far, but, um, I'm playing with the idea of telling things kind of out of order. Okay. Um, where you're getting, uh, you could get a chapter or like three chapters or, or what have you that all happen during her, her youth, her two, her teenage years. Right. And then you get something that happens when she's an adult, like the next chapter, and then they'll go back to like college and then they'll go back to te teenager and then they'll go to adult again. Um, that's, I'm playing with that idea. Another thing that I'm going to be playing with when I'm doing rewrites and edits is I'm going to be playing with the idea of playlists. Um, music does have a very big part in, um, in this book. Okay. Um, Catherine is an aspiring writer and she also ends up, um, having a, a, um, show on her college radio station, um, kind of talking about certain things like pairing music and, uh, creation together. Um, she does that. And then There's, there's a lot of, of, of stuff having to do with music and, and the appreciation of music and all that. And then she's also an aspiring writer, um, throughout her, throughout her life. And, um, when she graduates from college, she has a job in the publishing industry and, and it's, it's all these things, right? So, um this is after she graduates from college. She is working. She's an assistant editor and or an assistant to the editor, however you want to put it, um, of a publishing company. And her friends have convinced her that she needs to get back into the dating world. Like she's got the job, she's got the, the apartment, She's got the two cats. You need to get into the, to the world of dating. You need to get back on that horse, baby girl, you know? Um, and she has made a dating profile to the, um, encouragement of her two best friends, Vicky and Samantha. Um, 
they even help her create the profile. And when they're there, um, right after they create the profile, um, she matches with someone and the beginning of this chapter, November 30th, 2007 is the date is going well. <laughs> um, and Vicki, uh, or excuse me, um, Catherine, uh, her date is going well. And, um, this is, this is, a, there's a little bit of steaminess to the paragraph. So be forewarned. And in here, here, a little something you like to hear it. Here it goes. Okay. He tasted like cigarettes and whiskey and his touch felt like the wispy, beautiful rebellion of autumn from summer heat. He grabbed her hair in the car. He grabbed her hair in the car and he took his lips from her mouth to her, to her neck, to her cleavage. He grabbed her over her shirt with his free hand and pulled her closer to him from the front seat next to him. When he released her hair from his, her, released her hair from her, from his hand, excuse me. Um, he returned to his, to her mouth and dug in like he hadn't kissed anyone in years, but when he had before he was told that he was <laughs> told that it was like what he did best. Um, this was all a surprise to Catherine, a welcome surprise, but it was a surprise from the shy long haired guy that resembled a modern Jim Morrison just 15 minutes ago was sitting across from her next to or sitting, um, next to her on a bar stool. That's, I fumbled along with that a little bit reading it because I hadn't read it out loud before, but that's the beginning paragraphs of two paragraphs actually, um, from November 30th, 2007. Um, yeah, so that's, that's something that, that was the beginning of that chapter that, like I said, that's the beginning of that chapter. Um, another thing that I can read. So there is. a coffee shop that, um, Catherine used to go to when she was a teenager. And that, um, is part of what I put into the book that actually was something that I did. I, I went to a, this coffee shop a lot when I was a teenager and I read poetry that I had written. Um, and also I, uh, uh, DJed there, um, a lot, um, when I was a teenager and it was all on the weekends and everything like that. No, it was, um, during my freshman and sophomore year of high school. And, uh, the story in, in, in this goes that, um, she had found out that the morning after her, her date had happened, she had found out from her mother that there was a a fire in the building that, um, used to have the coffee shop. The coffee shop has been, had been closed for some time, um, at that point in the story. And she, there's a lot of baggage there in regards to, for, for Catherine, where she, it's a place that she loves and she loved people in it. And she, and she loved being there when she was there, but there were other things attached to it, um, that are kind of mm, not in a happy spot for her at that particular moment. Um, but, um, she decided she was going to go visit her parents and she was going to trespass on the property, um, of what was left to kind of just see for herself what had happened. Um, (sighs) 
Okay, here we go. They say your personality is pretty much set at the age of 17. That the only thing that happens is that it gets peppered with experience. In many ways, she was still that girl standing outside the door waiting for Samantha and going inside to meet up with her friend Dennis. She was still that a little bit that girl falling in love, falling for the troublemaker from out of town, the one who her mother didn't want her to have feelings for, and that his father prayed every night she would. They both had reasons for feeling that way, and they were both legitimate. She looked around and... and she looked around and saw that there was no one watching in the immediate vicinity and she ducked under the caution tape to go go into the ruins that disregard for a plastic police boundary was a little bit of the influence she he had 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 on her in her youth that part that the that her mother was worried would be stronger than it actually ended up being in her she didn't go too far into the door um she didn't go too far into the door, maybe just a few steps, and then she stared at the remains of the brick wall where she had helped painted the mural that they had joked should have been called Catherine's Corner. The bricks uh, where, the, where the regular readers, performers, and DJs had signed their names with little notes and quotes. There it was, her brick. The quote was from Joan of Arc by Leonard Cohen. It was still there. Quote, and... Then she clearly understood. If he was fire, oh, she must be wood. Next to her set of bricks that she signed with her quote was Eric's. With a quote from the same song. And who are you, she sternly spoke, to the one beneath the smoke. Why, I'm fire, he replied. And I love your solitude. I love your pride. Catherine stood there and studied the both sets of bricks, which seemed to be the greatest presentation of those two people, 16-year-old Catherine and Eric. He was fire. She was wood. <laughs> so that's just a, a, a couple little things that I was working on. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can share with you. <laughs> I think that's probably going to be it for now. Um, I'm thinking about possibly reading this one part, but I, I actually think I'm going to, I'm going to not do that right now. I'm going to, um, I want to give a little bit of room for, I gave you guys a little bit. Okay. So there you go, <laughs> but that's it for now. Um, Obviously, um, we're going to let that just simmer with y'all. Um, and, uh, we're going to go, go from there next week. I'll see you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.